When you think about light, you might imagine a light bulb or the rays of the sun. There are actually many kinds of light, including ultraviolet or UV rays from the sun. When, how is UV light different from normal light? It has shorter wavelengths than visible light and has more energy, so it can pass through objects. It is harmful because it can cause changes in the cells of our bodies. There are three kinds of UV rays, UVA, UVB, and UVC. But only UVA and UVB travel all the way to the Earth. UVB rays are responsible for most cases of sunburn, as they are shorter than UVA rays and only reach the surface of the skin. UVA rays are capable of passing into the skin deeper than UVB rays. They play a major role in the aging and wrinkling of the skin. Both UVA and UVB rays can cause skin cancer if they severely damage skin cells. The ozone layer is like a gas shield around the Earth that blocks UV rays, but this doesn't mean we're perfectly safe from them. It's still important to wear sunscreen where you go outside. Sunscreen doesn't just protect you from sunburns, it can also protect your skin cells from the greater danger of skin cancer. Like the magnetic field, there's another cosmic force that affects life on Earth in mysterious ways. It hides in broad daylight, but there's no hiding from it. B gets through a little bit more, and ultraviolet A gets through the most, because it's the closest to being visible light. UVA is considered the aging skin cancer ray. This is a model of a cross-section of skin. When you're outside, the UVB light will go superficial into the skin and cause sunburn. So that will damage the cells that make up our skin, keratinocytes. When the cells are damaged, the body responds by activating the immune system. And that will increase the blood flow to the area of injury. And then it will activate the immune cells to produce small molecules that causes inflammation. And that's just the beginning. Prolonged exposure to UVB rays from the sun can cause cataracts, and it can also be a factor in skin cancers, such as melanoma, a potentially fatal disease.